Oh, she made it. You made the cut off. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, somebody's phone's clicking over here. I don't know if they want to. I think it's the. I think it's the rose one. You're so popular today. You wanted this airplane that bad boy. And just square it off so you're aligned with the floorboards. Otherwise, your hair could catch on fire. Almost, almost to the top right corner to the right two millimeters. Oh, that's good. Perfect. Thank you. Namaskar. Namaste. Good morning. Welcome to yoga for the red electric moon practice. We're going to purify mind, body, and spirit to stay in remembrance of our true divine nature. Starting off with some conscious breathing first, take Vishnu Mudra with your right hand. Close off right nostril. Exhale through the left. Deep inhale through the left. Close off. Exhale right. Inhale right. Off, pausing at the peak, and then release left and exhale. Keep Nadi showing the alternate nostril breathing going for the next minute to purify the two major nadis, Ida and Pingala, the lunar and solar energy channels. Let's bring balance to the energy body, balance to the hemispheres of the brain to prepare mind and body for the practice. Do a nice exhale release hand. Just both hands behind the hips for more to pranayama. Archa. Take a deep breath in. Hold your breath in for a count of 20, letting the head rest back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Practice the bond of energy within in service of your higher self. Let's unite our hearts and invoke blessings. Three ohms. Oh, 
One corner mantra. It's the presence of the one divine spirit that dwells within. We bow. Rise. Let's create a little bit more distance. Slide up four inches for me. Slide to your left six inches for me. Oh, looks like the target's moving left. Cool. Maybe we don't need that space. Here we go. Feet at distance apart. Drawing into the center. Belly in, scoop tailbone. Shoulders up and back, lifting heart up, slide jawbone back. Activating your jayi breath, breathing from the back of the throat with more focus. Deep breath in. Exhale, root down. Releasing hands. Inhale, stretch up. So bring the freedom of the morning. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, lengthen and curl. Reach into the crown of the head. Exhale, step back. Plank. Hold plank. Take hands a little wider. Spread fingers wide. Index finger leads the way. Lean forward. Grip or claw the mat. Strong. Belly up and in. Rounding lower back. In super slow motion, lean forward, lower all the way down onto the belly, clasping hands behind the back. Squeeze arms in, upper back in, arch up and lift. Then tack your toes down, hands beside the chest, underneath your elbows, lengthen, shoulders towards the ears, and then lift up for a high cobra. Have your feet pointed for me. And my guy, that's okay. Push down to the tops of your toes. Pull with your toes in towards the hips. Pull your hands back towards the hips, firing up the backs of the arms. And then lower down. Push back. Adamuka Swanasana. Downward facing dog. First dog of the red electric moon day. Stretch it out. Bend one knee at a time. Lengthen through calf muscles. Right leg up to the ceiling, bend the knee and twist, stretch out side body, stretch out in breath, out breath, consciously lengthening the space between the breaths. Switch legs. Down dog. Lean forward, head up, index knuckles, press down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, rise up, Raha Cobra. Out rotating arms and shoulders. Hold it there, connecting to the back body. And relax. And then lower down, push back, downward facing dog. Right foot to the front of the mat for Soma Chandrasana. Right foot up, point foot out to the right, have your back heel up. <laughs> Bend the knee deep, open heart, and head back and curl. Keep your back leg straight and strong, keeping left thigh lifting. Take your right arm behind the back and deepen the twist. 
curling over your forearm. Take your head straight back into the tops of the shoulder blades like in a back bend. Reaching for the floor or your elbow crease. Inhale and one. Come on to your forearms. Sink into it. Panarasana three. Put down to the ball of your left foot. Shift your hips way out to the left. And then squeeze your left inner thigh into the center and lean to the right and push the top of the right thigh bone down. Get into the flow with the breath. Edwarder, we're not there yet, man. You're ahead of the game. Come on to both forearms. Vinarasana, three. Monkey tail pose, three. Leaning to the left, widening on the in-breath. Exhale, leaning to the right and sinking into it. Loosening, freeing up the hips so that we're ready for Soma Chandrasana, five. Because it's early in the morning and I want to make sure everybody's hips are nice and loose. Step back. Take a vinyasa. I'm being nice this morning. I'm in a good mood. I'm not just rocking it out. <laughs> Flow through. Exhale down. Inhale, rise up. Cobra, up dog. Exhale, flow back. Second side, elixir of the moon pose. Left foot to the front of the mat. Point foot out to the left. To create more space and opening for the hips. Hand to the top of the thigh. Keep your right thigh lifting. Bend your left knee deep. Open your heart. Open throat. Head back and curl. And then take left arm behind the back. Deepen the twist and opening. Forearms sink into it. Banara three. Inhale, push down to the ball of your right foot. Lean way out to the right, taking your hip to the outer edge of the mat, and then fire up your right inner thigh. Squeeze it into the midline, the center of your mat, as you lean to the left and push the top of the left thigh bone down, weighting your left heel more. Inhale, widening, inner rotating, squeezing into the midline. Exhale, sinking into it, letting the hips get heavy. Uh, flow through. Now we're ready for so much under five. Right foot to the front of the mat. Point foot out to the right. Come onto your left forearm and hook your right big toe with your first two fingers, palm face up. Right hand to the top of the thigh again. And then move from the core first, head back. Heart forward, and then sweep your right arm all the way overhead, keeping arm bone beside the cheekbone, palm face down. Left heel can angle out to the left to go deeper. Very nice, very nice. And then step back, take a vinyasa. <laughs> Second side, left foot up, elixir of the moon, five pose. Point it out to the left, come onto your right forearm, hooking the left big toe with the first two fingers, palm face up. Left hand to the left thigh, head back, heart forward, and then sweep left arm overhead, curling towards a back bend, holding onto the big toe. Right heel can angle to the right. To go deeper, you can rock onto the outer edge of your left foot, angling the knee way out to the side. Hold it there. Step back, take a vinyasa. Take it out. Get on one thing today. See how that this wants to lift up, mm -hmm. and the weight shifts here. Try to think of lifting this middle knuckle up and pushing that one down strong like this. Maybe just move your finger like that, and then push that one down. Mm -hmm. And that's going to save your lifespan of your wrists and get you super strong. Knees, gaze up, step or jump. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bow. Squeeze legs together. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, pause at the chakras, the crown, brow, throat, 
heart, turning gaze back within, coming back into remembrance of your true divine nature. We aren't humans having spiritual experiences. We are spirit beings having human experiences. Shifting to your right foot, bring your left thigh up. Take it out to the side for Vrikshasana, tree pose. Bring it against the inner thigh, and then you can reach down and bring it a little higher. Squeeze heel into the inner thigh. Inner thigh into the heel, and then grow tall. Reaching up, rooting down to the heel, rise up to the fingertips. And then slowly begin to bow to the left over the bent leg. Bringing right shoulder back, keeping chin lifting. And then slowly back up. In slow motion, float back into warrior two pose. Check out your distance. Wiggling your left foot back so the ankles are underneath your wrists with the palms face up, bending right knee deep. Keep it leaning to the right. Heart lifting, and then turn your palms down. Belly in, scoop tailbone. Keeping your lower abdomen firm. Tailbone scooping. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, extend forward into side angle pose, taking the hand down to the inside or the outside of the leg. Left arm reaches. You can use a block if you need it. <clears throat> Left hand to the hip, bow to the heart. Atita Trikonasana, triangle pose. Straighten right leg, belly in, rescoop tailbone. Take left arm straight up. to the hip, step it up, Ardha Chandra, half moon pose, right hand out to the side, <clears throat> six or eight inches, flex left foot, pushing from hips out through both heels, you can hold it here or reach for the top foot, bending the knee to the chest for Ardha Chandra, Shavhasana, rolling shoulder back, kick foot back, head moves straight back. Lower your foot down a little and try and bring the thigh leg parallel with the floor of the leg. Might lower it down here and then go straight back with it this way. Right. Like you're laying on your side doing the back bend. That's it. Twist left hand down. In rotate left leg. Out rotate standing leg. Take right arm up. Or revolt half moon. Keep left inner thigh engaged, squeezing into the center. Keeping the foot flexed or flointed. Look towards the floor. No twist in the neck. Bend your top leg. Reach for the foot with your right hand for a one foot standing bow pose. Kick your foot back. Push your head up so you're looking straight ahead for the front of the room instead of the ceiling. Looking towards the Sri Yantra or whatever's in front of you. Adriana, you see how your left knee is going way out to the side? Squeeze into the center like this. There you go. I just switched hands on it. Both hands down, standing split. Come all the way back up to standing for tree pose, Vrikshasana. Bring foot against the inner thigh. Really locate your drishti, your gazing point. And then take it into Vakra Vriksha, bent tree. You're going to lift your shoulders up towards the ears and then curl, scoop your tailbone, and then reach your fingertips towards the floor or clasp hands behind you. Squeeze shoulder blades together, lift your heart up, and then you can take your gaze up towards the ceiling. Keep your foot in tree. Slowly begin to bow forward, taking your head towards the knee, lifting your wrists up towards the ceiling. And then when you lose your balance or you need to take your hands down, Take it into standing split, both hands to the floor, lifting left leg back up to the ceiling. Very nice. <laughs> Adho Mukha Rikshasana. Downward facing tree. Setting hands in front of you, lean forward, kick up towards a handstand, or kick back in a plank pose. If you're at the periphery, you can use the wall, otherwise to bed. 
Just kick up or step back and take the Vinny. Go for it. Kick hard. There you go. That's it. Big toes up. Push up. There you go. Index knuckles down. <laughs> Bend knees, gaze up, step or jump. Uttanasana, forward fold. And then midline, squeeze into the center, root down, inhale, rise all the way up, pausing at the chakras. Samastitihi, turning gaze back within, coming back into remembrance. Shifting weight to your left foot. Relocate your gazing point. Bring your right thigh up. Take it out to the side. Bring it into the inner thigh for briksha. And you can reach down. Bring it a little higher. Midline. Squeeze in. Fire the inner thigh. Belly in. Scoop tailbone. Rooting down to the left heel. Rise up the fingers. And then start to bow to the right. Curling left shoulder back, right shoulder forward, keeping chin lifting. Slowly back up and slow back. Beer Badra two, two. Wiggle right foot back, check your distance, ankles underneath the wrists, palms face up, hard up, and then you can go wider. Wiggle that right foot back. There you go. Keeping heart lifting, belly in, scoop tailbone, palms down. Focus, mind and vision, bending left knee a little deeper. Keep it leaning to the left. Deep breath in. Exhale, extend forward. Side angle pose, taking hand down. Right hand to the hip, bat of the heart, triangle pose. We said towel it too if you need it for your mat. Keep thighs lifting, kneecaps lifting, tops of thigh bones pushing back into hamstrings. Right hand to the hip, step up, half moon pose, Art of Chandra. Hold it here, keeping both legs straight and strong, or take it towards the back bend. Take, take your left hand here with the block. There you go. Knee to the chest, and then head back. Curling shoulder back. <laughs> right hand down, in rotate right leg. Out rotate standing leg. Left arm up. Fire right inner thigh. So squeeze your right leg in towards the midline, keeping your right hip rolling down. Right big toe squeezing into the center. And then look towards the floor. Bend the top leg, reach for the inner edge of the foot. Kick back, head up. Don't lose the engagement in your right inner thigh. Keep your right knee squeezing in. Keep looking straight ahead for the front of the room. No twist in the upper body. That's it. Try and bring your left shoulder down and draw energy up your right arm and shoulder. Just like you were laying on a belly doing a back bend. That's it. There you go. Both hands down, standing split. All the way back up to standing, Vriksha, tree pose. Right foot against the inner thigh. Relocate gazing point. When you have your balance, 
lengthen, side bodies long, shoulders up, curl, scooping tailbone, reaching finger towards the floor. You can stay gazing straight ahead or clasp hands and slowly take your gaze up to the ceiling. And then slowly take it into a forward fold as far as you can. Taking your head towards the knee, lifting your arms up behind you. And then when you need to and you're ready, both hands to the floor, standing split. Oh, Madha Mukha Vriksha, set hands in front of you, grip or claw the mat, lean forward, kick up or kick back. up strong. <laughs> yeah, keep that head up. When you want to bail, lower to chaturanga, lowering onto the chin. Best one ever. Right foot up, bounce that angle, going for the clasp. Right foot to the front of the mat, right arm under, behind the, left arm behind the back. For bounce that angle, bada parsva kon asana. Right arm under, left arm behind the back. Nekapada Kundinyasana, two, work the arm balance, take it as far as you can, back heel up, right foot slides out to the right, and then lower halfway down for the arm balance. Stay there, you're doing good. Today we're going to use this just so you get a feel for it, okay? Your right foot's going to lift just like you did, and then lean forward and bend your arms and lift your back foot up. No, no, keep this up, keep this up, keep, this up. keep your arms up, like this, there you go. Just like you're doing a push-up, just bend here. And then this is going to lift. Wow. There you go. Flight school, 101. Second side, left foot up. Left arm under, right arm behind the back. Going for the class. <laughs> Hold it a few more deep ones. And then work the arm balance, both hands down. Back heel up, left foot slides out to the left. Take it as far as you can. So right foot hops across the midline to lift up. So get closer and hop your foot this way towards me. There it is. That's it. A little more. You got it. That's it. Nice. Wide leg stance. One more series and we rest. It's coming. Urdhvakali, upward facing goddess pose. Take your hands to your knees, turning your toes out, heels in, bring your ankles underneath the knees. Push your knees apart, sink into it. And then twist to your left, pushing your right knee away. Gazing over left shoulder. Twist to the right, push left knee away. And back to center. Take arms overhead. Yoginis, left thumb on top. Eduardo, right thumb on top. Squeeze arms in. Belly in, rib cage in, flatten your lower back. If you go deep, use the strength of your core to push your hips down until your core begins to shake and tremble with excitement. Keeping your arms squeezing in overhead. Pivot toes forward, heels back. Go halfway forward for Shankarasana. And then hands down, relax legs, go wide, go deep. Good. 
that? Man, how's that happen? It's on airplane mode. And do not disturb, and it still rings. It's ridiculous. Just turn Wi-Fi off. Slowly heel toe in, crow pose. Big knees wide, hands wide. Lean forward and lift up. Optional tripod headstand. <clears throat> and then lower back into Baca. Rest in child's pose when you're ready. Knees wide. Knees wide. There you go. Squeeze your toes together. Go towards the nose and lift. There you go. Witness the absence of thought, the presence of spirit. It's the conscious breath that gets you out of the monkey mind into the presence of the witness. Rest here. We'll take it into puppy pose. Utana Shisho Sana. If you want to get into the upper back, take your knees a little wider and then slide forward with your palms face up so you don't hyperextend your shoulders. And then slide all the way forward onto your chin and your chest so you're comfortable and you're not grinding your teeth. and just relax here. If you slide forward a few more inches so you're not on your chin. There you go. Ah. Oh, <laughs> you gotta slide forward more. If you want to push, stay there. I'll make the rounds, otherwise escape back in a child's pose. Deep breath. Exhale. Uh, I'm going to put these up here so we don't actually step on them or something. Lay on the belly. Shalabhasana. Locust pose. Bring your hands back beside your chest like you're in Chaturanga. Lift your feet up two inches off the floor. Squeeze your big toes together. Lift your hands two inches up the floor. Squeezing shoulder blades together. Hold it. Palette releases. And then stack your fist, chin on fist. Resting feet down. Breathe into the lower back. Two, same thing, set hands, lift feet, lift hands, now inhale, legs wide, flexing pinky toes out to the side, arms stay bent, exhale, squeeze big toes together, firing the inner thighs, inhale, go wide, 
Exhale, squeeze in strong. Four more like that. Inhale wide. Exhale, squeeze in. Firing inner thighs. Oh. Outer shins. Danielle, bring your hands up. There you go. After six total, stack fists. Resting chin on fists. Eka Pada Shalabhasana. For those in training, this will be on the test. Heads up. Bring your hands back underneath your elbows and then wiggle your left knee into the center of your mat one or two inches and lift your left foot up and bring your right thigh on top of your left foot. Left foot lifts up, right thigh on top of the foot. There you go. Now your hands can be back underneath your elbows with your hands flat or you may want to bring your hands in a fist position or ridge top position. It makes it a little easier to keep your shoulders lifting away from the floor, squeezing shoulder blades on the back and then push down and try and crank out three or six good push-ups. Lift all the way up and then go halfway down and then back up. There you go. After three or six, lower back down onto your chin and hold it there with your right leg still up. And then you're going to bend your right foot and reach one or both hands back around the ankle and attempt to hold your foot. Go for it. When you reach back, you got to kick back into your hands to stabilize, and then the other hand reaches back and you squeeze your shoulder blades together. Boom, it's possible. Try and straighten the arms, kicking the leg back. Kick up, there you go. That's it. So the arms are straight, legs kicking back. That's it. And then when you're ready, boom. Release, stacking chin, fist on chin on fist, breathing into the lower back. And then bring your right knee into the center. Lift your left leg up. Hands underneath elbows. Crank out some push-ups, three or six good ones. your reps, bend the leg, reach one hand back for the foot, kicking up into the hand, and then the other hand back. You have to bring the right knee into the midline. Yeah. <laughs> and then release. It's hard. It's not easy. <laughs> right arm out to the right, one arm auspicious pose. Put the hand palm face up, rock over, left foot back, you're in deep, push down through your feet, shift your hips in, and then optional left ankle on top, deepening the twist from the lower body, taking left hip back to the floor. Switch sides. Shift hips in, optional right ankle on top. Back onto the belly, push back, child's pose. Oh, Mecca 
Bada Raja Kapotasana, Pigeon Pose, right knee up wide, behind your right wrist, the outer edge of the mat, left leg slides in and back, walk your hands back, square it off, lift and curl, left hand can reach for the back foot, bring it into a quad stretch, if you're in deep, feel free to work mermaid, or strap it, or grab it, and take it all the way overhead, full king pigeon. Ready, bow forward and release, bending elbows up, shoulder blades engage on the back body, or stack fists up, resting forehead on fists. Step back and flow through. Boom. Second side. Knee up wide. Slide your right leg in towards the center of the mat. Slide it back. Walk your hands back. And curl. And left hand front and center. Right hand back. Kick back, fire thigh, and then pull it in. Optional mermaid. Forward. Step back and flow through. Oh. Ustrasana, camel pose, into kneeling. You can pull the mat over. You need to pad your knees. Hips back, belly in, scoop tailbone. Side bodies long, shoulders up, and then curl. Reach your hands back for the heels. Slide jawbone back. Keep front of the neck engaged to support the head. Pushing head back into the shoulder blades if your neck is good. Otherwise, if there's stress on the neck, you can stay looking straight ahead. Inhale up, rest back, Supta Virasana. You can sit on a block or spread your calf muscles with your thumbs resting back between your feet. You can stay sitting there in meditation for a minute or rest all the way back.
Let him rest here another 30 seconds or so. If you want to work full pigeon, take hands overhead, slide onto the top of the head, and then slide your head in towards the feet. Oh, head down. Stay there. Walk your hands in. Head, head to the floor. And now walk your hands in here. Now push arms straight, hips forward. Now head down. Stay there. Put the head down all the way to the floor. Now reach one hand back. This is your foot. That's right. And this is the other foot. Good job. And then release, escape, take a vinyasa. Arda Matsyan Drasana. Come to sitting, half fish pose. Hold left leg in, cross right leg over. Left hand, right hand behind the back, left arm up, lengthen. Right knee straight up, there you go. And then twist to the right, hooking left arm across. Hard up, out rotate the right hip, leaning to the right, pivoting off the sitting bone. If you're in deep, you can reach for the heel, for the knee, or go for the bind. But don't hold the breath. Keep it full and deep. Into the right arm. There you go. Inhale, untwist. Go Mukhasana. Pull your foot across. Pull your knee across for cow face pose. We have options here. You can hook your big toes, arching up, holding forward, or bring your right arm behind the back, left arm overhead. You can use your towel for your strap. If you want one, wave your hand. And we have shoulder opener. And then fold forward when you're ready. See if I need it. Uh, not, not, no, they shouldn't. They'll get light, but they shouldn't like lift all the way up and take your head down. And then inhale back up. You can take a vinyasa or just switch legs casually. Left hand back and fingertip for ridge top position. Going for the twist first. Arda Matsyendra. Left knee straight up. Right arm up. Lengthen. Arching up. And then twist to the left. Pushing arm into the outer edge of the leg. Lean to the left. Tack your sitting bone down. And then wrap and bind if it's available. Or reach down for the heel or for the knee. Twist, go Mukasana, pull foot across, push top knee across, hook big toes, or right arm behind the back, left arm overhead. It's the opposite arm over. Up. 
optional vinyasa or open up wide for upa vishta konasana seated wide angle pose Sitting bones, clear hamstrings. And activate legs, point toes back. Slowly fold forward. Twist over right leg. Back up, a little wider, a little deeper, fold forward one more time. back up. You can take a vinyasa or come onto your back and rock around a little side to side. Work the core for a minute. Dragon flags. Keeping the arms off to the side of the body, 15 to 30 degrees, palms face down or palms face in, either way. Legs straight across the floor, and then you're going to lift your legs straight up and lift your hips up as high as you can, and then slowly lower hips down, lower legs back down. Go for 13 good ones. Keeping the legs straight, don't let feet touch the floor. Use the breath, inhaling up, exhaling down slowly. Thank you.
Yud Banda, Sharp and Gasna, Yud Banda, the knees, the tips. Walk shoulder blades in. Lift up. Optional clasp underneath. Down. You can repeat or take it all the way up for the donner, asana, hands overhead beside the ears, hips up, chest up. You can take hands wider, pausing on the head, and then go all the way up. Throw into the back of the room. Best. Four, take it back up. Back bend push ups or alternate leg lifting. Optional three, round three from the floor or from standing. Angie's going to do her birthday dropbacks. Oh. <laughs> you can use the wall or I'll give you a spot or check it out. If you want to work on doing these in the safety of your own home, this is how I learned. You can take a strap and you hook it around the opposite door. Make sure it's locked. You can hold on to the strap if you think it's going to go, and you can just pull it back, pointing your head towards the floor, and then you come back up. Head lifts last, or just keep it back the whole time, and you crank them out. Just like that. And you go all the way up until you reach the age of your... <laughs> go for it. Or as many as you can. If you want a spot, I'll give you a spot. If you're done with back bends, so you can take it into shoulder stand, or you can watch and give Angie emotional support. Uh, hold on, Anna, slide a little of it so you don't have interference with her. That's it. You can lift the heels. There it is. That's it. And then all the way up. That's it. It's one. You want a spot? Almost there, but hey, oh, no, no, keep, keep this here and heart lifting until you can see your mat and then reach. There you go. There you go. One, two, come up on three, squeezing in. Good job. Good job. Good. See it, Karina? Midline, squeezing in strong. Snap your fingers. One. Two, and then snap forward. Three. Whoa. Good, good, good. <laughs> that was it. That was it. Let's do it again. 
I'll get you a blanket for your knees this time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because you're there. Ooh. Boom. Eduardo, first time. <laughs> awesome. It's a movement. It's all right. It's a movement. It's right. It's just momentum. It's momentum. You just got to rock, Karina. That's it. Create the momentum. Rock. Hard. One, two, and then snap it hard. Push forward. <laughs> Getting better. Next week. Okay, now you can rest. Angie, what number are you on? <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> All right, congratulations. <laughs> You'll feel you feel like you have a new body tomorrow. <laughs> Younger. <laughs> Younger. <laughs> After you've been in shoulder stand for a minute, you can take legs overhead for plow pose. Knees bend over ears, ear pressure close. Oh, my bum, yeah. Slowly on roll. Suchin Randrasana, eye of the needle pose. Have your feet on the floor, with your knees bent up towards the ceiling. And then bring your left ankle on top of your right thigh. It's on the left side of your body. There you go. Your left arm reaches through the center. Switch. Clasp behind your right hamstrings. Kick away first and arch your lower back, tilting the top of the pelvis up. Clear your hip flexors off of the hip bone, and then round your lower back. Bring the neck legs in tight to the chest. You can straighten the leg and reach up for your calf muscle or your foot, or lasso your foot and bring the leg closer to the chest, or all the way overhead, take your foot to the floor. Switch. Our arm reaches through, clasp, resist, arch your lower back first. And then round your lower back, bring it in tight. Straightening leg, reach up higher. Baby pose. Pull the knees down. You can lean a little to the right or the left. If you're going deeper, walk your arms over the legs. Work on bringing feet towards your head. Maybe bring them behind your head for yoga nidra. You can do one leg at a time.
this to the right. again cross left leg over take it a little deeper left hand to the rib cage or overhead reaching out to the side right leg over.
One overhead, stretching out the deep inhale. Move to the right, supporting your head on your arm bone, resting there for a few breaths. Stone, a universal prayer for happiness and freedom for all beings. Take a deep breath in. <clears throat> Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Namaste. Sangam. Jai Ma. Wonderful rest of the day.